All right, so recently I had to take this uh, diesel particulate filter, this DPF right here, and I had to uh, take it over to the dealership and have them do a clean out for me. And so I wanted to make a quick video talking about how do you know when you need to take the DP off, DPF off and get it cleaned versus that it's just not regening properly. This particular DPF has uh, comes off of this X15 that we have in our lab. And you can see that it's on a training aid platform. So it's a little bit different than what you might encounter on your truck. But one of the main ways to kind of tell is you got to remember that when you regen a diesel particulate filter, you're taking the amount of soot that that uh, DPF has collected and you're using high exhaust heat to reduce that soot to ash. Now, the ash can't go anywhere. It's still trapped in that filter. So after a bunch of regens, you're gonna have ash content that gets really high. Some of the more modern engines have ash accumulators where if you put a DPF on the truck, you reset it and it can kind of guess at how much ash is in it and let you know that way. But the common way to tell is that the regen will just keep going and going and going because the regen stops itself whenever the sensor says that the restriction in that filter has gotten reduced. And since you can no longer burn ash, that restriction doesn't go away and the regen just goes on for a very, very long time. Another thing that a truck driver might notice is that he's done a regen and then it requests a regen again very shortly after the first regen. And then you get into engine D rates and the engine shutting down after being on for a little while. So uh, that's part of the operation side of it. On the diagnostic side, what you might see on the uh, diagnostic side would be a bunch of fault codes uh, related to this where uh, we have one, a bunch of different uh, ATF or after treatment system fault codes. Some of them are related right now currently to the uh, sensors and everything being uh, taken off of the engine. Uh, but the one that really stands out is this one right here. Uh, the the uh, after treatment operator inducement severity at a moderately severe level. Uh, that's the code that's going to keep shutting you down and keeping you from being able to regen. So ultimately, uh, you would want to basically, if you looked at your fault codes, you'd want to troubleshoot those. Uh, of course, anything related to the diesel particulate filter before necessarily taking that filter off and getting it, taking it to get cleaned. But if your fault code is just about having a high restriction in the filter despite doing regens, then more often than not, the situation is gonna call for you to take it in and get it cleaned. Um, one of the things I would recommend not doing is you'll see a lot of YouTube videos out there, people cleaning out their DPFs with water hoses and stuff like that. Uh, do yourself a favor and take it to a shop that has the actual machine to do it uh, and not rely on that other stuff. So uh, thank you guys for watching this. this is, I know it's short and sweet, uh, but just kind of some tips and tricks about how to know when to uh, clean that DPF.